Hi, Leo. It's Al here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's go ahead and get into it, Leo. Thank you, God, for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. So let's start with love, Leo. Let's see what's going on here. All right, so what's the love message from Leo? What's the love message for me? Okay, gifts. Okay, so we are in the holiday season, wherever you are in the world. Um, you could receive a gift very soon. Um, spiritual gift also, or a physical gift from someone. Someone could be asking you, what do you want uh, for this holiday season? Maybe even someone who you weren't expecting, someone that's far away from you, okay? Uh, or there's maybe there's an energetic you know, um, distance where you guys, you and your person could even live together, but you just are not that close nowadays for whatever reason. Someone could be gifting you, uh, the gift of travel. Maybe they're going to, uh, hand you over some tickets to uh, an island. You know, that's your, your gift here. Um, this could also be someone who uh, travels for work, someone who's in and out. Okay. They could be coming to give you a gift. Uh, money. Okay. Very nice. They could be gifting you money, um, or spending money on you or with you, um, or just pay, putting the money in your hand. Can't, can't beat that with a stick. Right. Um, let's see what else short term. All right. So maybe if you, for some of you, this relationship came into your life for the short term, because you could be the other woman or the other man here. There is somebody else. Somebody could be traveling, spending money to travel to see maybe the other woman. It's short-lived, of course, because they have something else back home or back wherever. It says a relationship came into your life to show you what it is you you sh you shouldn't want. This could be your twin flame, your your better half, the person that you were incarnated with, you know. And maybe that's why it's such a strong bond here. Someone could, they could, yeah, past life here. So it's like maybe this relationship was for you to maybe get it right in this life, but somebody just isn't ready. Someone isn't ready to do the whole twin flame journey. Do expect the unexpected. Some of you could have like some work related um relationship here with passion and work some of you putting a lot of passion into your work and do expect the unexpected maybe someone will gift you something jewelry something that is for work something that you can use in your work some of you just really putting all your passion into work and things that you can't control some of you feel like a relationship is a lot of work. Somebody feels like the sex isn't working anymore. You, the magic of the sex is wearing off. What is the future energy for my Leos with love? High honor. So someone could want to propose to you or propose, maybe let's move in together, maybe even buy you a ring. Expectation. Somebody is expecting this to happen here. Somebody feels like they've been waiting for a while. They have been patiently waiting and now they expect uh, to be proposed to. They expect to take their relationship to the next level. Wealthy man. So um, somebody is expecting some man to maybe give them some very expensive gift, propose something to them make some proposal. Someone was hoping for this, waiting for this. They have been holding out for this. Somebody is already coupled, already married. And this person could be coming in and giving you a gift. Do know they'll stick around for a while. Then they'll be back gone because obligation is with something else or someone else. Let's see what career and finance holds for you, Leo. Career and finance for Leo. Okay, so something you're very passionate about, something you do that's creative, 
um, you get inspired to do. You get inspired. I don't know. Maybe your inspiration goes in cycles here. We have the um, cycles of the moon. You, maybe you're really fired up about something one day and then it's kind of flat the next. Maybe you don't have a schedule. You need to set a schedule in terms of you doing or making or giving or showing up for this thing, this creative thing. It says that a business venture could be profitable for you or successful, but you do have to do the work. Okay. It looks like you're showing up. Seven of Pentacles. It says finish what you start. Harvest. If you feel like something isn't working or is stagnant, um, go back to the drawing board, reevaluate, but don't give up, persevere, see it through again, finish what you start. It says that you're frustrated with the progress or the process of, but finish what you start, have the strength to move forward, have the strength and the courage to get past this thing, get past the hump of not getting what you want immediately where you're not having a, a immediate success where there's the stagnation of sometimes this card talks about nine months this is a gestation period this is you proving to the universe that you really want this thing so you have to show up day in day out you have to do something over and over again wash rinse repeat over and over again prove to yourself and to the universe that you're dedicated to this thing Something about other people's time or money. Loans. I don't know if you do something with loans or you, you, I don't know. All right. Career and finance. All right. These two want to pop out. We'll leave it there. Nine of wands and the emperor card. So you got two cards of waiting. Okay. Two cards of persevering. Two cards of not giving up before you actually see the harvest. Before you see the miracle happen, says the nine of wands. Don't give up because you're going to become an expert in your field. You're going to get to a level of expertise. There's going to be structure. There's going to be routine. There's going to be money. There's going to be prestige. You're going to have power because you did something and you, you made it work. You instituted something. So that means you bring, you, you brought into Okay, you brought into fruition, you brought into existence this thing. It's like you built something from the ground up from nothing. Typically, the emperor in most decks sits on this gray throne. So the gray talks about, and it's a gray throne in the midst of the desert. So it's like you really made something out of nothing, ground up. Nothing was given to you. You did it all by yourself. All of a sudden, you could become a success. All of a sudden... This could actually work out. You could shatter this glass ceiling that you feel like you're at right now. But you have to prove to yourself and to the universe that this is what you want. That you're dedicated, you're loyal to your own plan. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, go over to the website, book there. Um, do keep in mind that I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night where you can come ask questions. Okay. I'm live every at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, you can come learn the Tarot with me. You could take classes with me. The first class starts December 27th. Okay, excited about that. And if you feel like you want to purchase something for the channel, the Amazon wish list is below. And if you have a question or two, you can text your question to the number below. Get your question answered all on your mobile device. So take advantage of that, guys. Thank you. Many blessings. Happy holidays.